The first official poster for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse has released and more news on Spider-Man No Way Home, the more fun stuff version and a bunch of other stuff. Let's talk about it. Yo, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be covering a range of topics in this shorter video because they're things that aren't really worth talking about on their own. But there's a few tidbits of information that have come out over the last day or so that I think are worth updating you guys on. So I'm going to go through them in this video and then we're going to be breaking down the poster. So with that being said, if you are new around here and enjoy all types of Spider-Man content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell so you can stay up to date with all types of news from the games and movies and the shows, fan fictions, all types of Spider-Man content. And I'd also greatly appreciate it. Also, if you want awesome No Way Home t-shirts and the Blu-rays, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can get yours today. But with that being said, let's get straight into the news. So the re-release of Spider-Man No Way Home, which is Spider-Man No Way Home, the more fun stuff version as it's actually going by, will officially feature 11 minutes of new footage. Now, this will be stuff with Daredevil, expect stuff with Andrew and Toby as well. Essentially, it's just going to be extended cuts of some scenes and I think there may be one or two scenes in there that were deleted as well. So don't expect crazy crazy updates or crazy things to change in the movie but mainly expect it just to be extended cuts of some scenes like I did say and other content as well that was missing from the original movie. The tickets go on sale on Tuesday this upcoming Tuesday so if you want tickets to go and see this movie when it comes out on September 2nd then make sure to grab them on Tuesday they go out then. But that is it for No Way Home the more fun stuff version. Let's move on to Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. They officially released the first poster for the film which features Miles Morales and Miguel O'Hara aka Spider-Man 2099 as the central figures on the poster. Now I really like this poster because I am a sucker for simple posters, ones that are very artistic and are very simple, not overcrowded with a lot of characters. I really love the colours in the background and the different shapes. I think it perfectly encapsulates what this movie's artistic style will be. A very sketchy and drawn and unnaturalistic look to the movie which I know that's the style that they are going for and I just love the way that Miles and Miguel are portrayed here. Obviously this this poster is definitely based off that first look that we got all those months ago for Across the Spider-Verse, which featured Miles and Miguel engaging in battle. This will be most likely at the point in the movie where they first meet and are very confused by each other's presence, especially Miguel, who's never seen any other Spider-Person, or at least we don't think has seen any other Spider-Person in the multiverse up to this point. So he's probably wondering who Miles is, what his powers are, why he's Spider-Man just like him. What's also interesting is if you look at Miles' right hand on the poster, it looks like he's using his Venom Blast as well. And the colours all nicely fit in with the yellows, the whites, and the oranges as well. And I really just like this poster. It's simple, it gets the point across, and it's really nice. Apart from being a good representation of the film's artistic style, I don't think this poster jumps out at me as to giving us any kind of clue to what this film will actually be about. I think this is a very simplistic poster, and it's meant to be designed for that very reason. Ever so slowly and ever so surely, we're getting more leaks and more more things revealed about this movie and I'm really excited when we get a first official trailer for this film and more posters and more merch and more stuff starts dropping. I can't wait to see Spider-Man 2099 finally in action and who they actually do end up bringing back for this Spider-Verse movie and because it is a Spider-Verse movie it really captures my interest because anyone can show up. But that's pretty much it for the poster. There's nothing special, but those are my thoughts on it. I think it's really cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you like this poster or do you not? I personally do. I think it's a really cool representation of the art style, like I did say. And also one last bit of news. It is actually Andrew Garfield's 39th birthday today. So happy birthday to Andrew Garfield, obviously the amazing Spider-Man. And that is pretty much the bottom of the barrel in terms of Spider-Man news today. Nothing else has really come out, but those are just some bits of information that I thought you guys would like to know. So make sure to get your tickets for the No Way Home more fun stuff version on Tuesday to then go and see it on September 2nd which is when it releases and that is the first official poster for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Hopefully we're going to get more stuff soon so make sure you stay tuned and hit that subscribe button. We also know that a lot of Madam Web leaks are coming out right now as well which is a Spider-Man spin-off movie if you haven't actually heard of it. I've done many videos on the channel breaking down a bunch of the leaks. Make sure you go check them out if you are interested in that. Also remember Craven the Hunter is coming out in January as well so there'll be a bunch of stuff including a trailer at some point within the next few months coming out for that film. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed so you can stay up to date with all types of Spider-Man stuff. Also, if you want awesome No Way Home t-shirts and the Blu-rays, like I said at the start of the video, make sure to click the links in the description down below. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.